everyone, I got something in my box. Okay, what do you want to go for? It? Everyone, I got eggs. You got eggs? Yeah. Well. <laughs> and then, and then need a hat suit. They need a hat. They need to hatch. They need to hatch. Yeah. Okay. Avery has some eggs that need to hatch. Hi. 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 Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Smash, Smash it. Smash. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit the mouse. Smash it. Mouse. Okay. Mouse. Yeah, so I just got African house snake babies, as you've probably seen. I was like wondering what the heck am I gonna put them in? So I stuck them inside one of these containers. I just poked holes with a needle, so the holes were not that great. So, yeah, I can't really make holes with a drill because the holes will be too big and they'll get out. So we're gonna go and put in some, uh... Oh, bad, <laughs> We're gonna put in some little holes for them. Thank I'm gonna do it outside because I don't wanna breathe in plastic. So usually, when I set snakes up, I have them in a rack without the lid on and with drilled holes. But when it comes to the African house snakes, they're so small, I don't want them to get out, so what I do is I leave the lid on and I drill, I put tiny holes in with the soldering tool. So let's go outside and do that. <laughs> I will bring my eggs outside. Okay, it's chilly, so we're going to do this fast. And then I can drive my bicycle outside or that. Looks like it's going to rain. Can you even see the soldering thing? Yes, you can. Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, so just poke some tiny holes. Can we watch me, Daddy? Yeah. I'm just kind of half poking these holes. If I find that the homes are totally uh, fogging up, then I'm going to make the holes bigger. I'm a little bit chilly. You're a little bit chilly? Okay, we're gonna go inside soon. Do you wanna go back inside? No. You wanna stay outside? Oh, okay. I had little holes, but they're not big enough, so whatever. Can you see what I'm doing? Avery, get away. You don't want to breathe this in. This is yucky. Let's go to the other side for a bit. I'm almost done. So, this is not I can watch Yeah, you can watch me, but watch me from over there. This is poison. Yeah, you're watching me. You can see me. I'm almost done. We're going back inside. I know, but it's cold and you'll get sick if you stay out here for too long. You want to get sick? I will get sick. Oh, my goodness. It's already happening. We didn't have terrible twos, but three? And she, uh, she challenges everything. Just like I used to. There we go, simple as that. All done, very nice. Quick, 
glad, I'm glad you feel that way, baby. Oh, I need paper towel. Can you help? Uh, uh, Here we go. Go, 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 go. Very nice. Okay, so how are we going to set them up? So basically, here we go. I'll put a little piece of paper towel. I'll put down uh, some water for them in a dish, in a, in a shallow dish, because you you wouldn't want the dish to be too tall. And it, like I've never lost a snake to drowning, but they're so little. Imagine it crawled into a tall dish and couldn't get out and drowned or something. So with these babies, they're so little. We're trying to be extra careful and uh, nice little clean sterile environment. They haven't really shed and I haven't sexed them so I haven't separated them yet. I'm gonna sex them and separate them later. And uh, so basically I'll set them up. I, I like using PVC pipes. If you find PVC pipes out in the garbage, you can take them home and jigsaw them and make little hides for your leopard geckos and small snakes and everything and it's really sturdy, easy to clean, and free, and then you're taking garbage and recycling it. The heat will be in the back, they'll have somewhere nice to hide, and they'll have some food to drink, so I'll put them in there for now. So, <laughs> that's what seven, uh, seven baby African house snakes look like. I've already been handling them. I'll be making a video again about taming baby snakes since I haven't done one in a while. And uh, the next video I post is gonna be about how to sex them since I haven't really seen any videos on sexing these and I was honestly a little bit scared myself because they're so tiny. When, when I build racks, I always kind of build them with the lid on or I'll prop them up a tiny bit so that there's a little bit of gap for air but with these snakes you don't want that gap because they'll crawl out and you'll lose them so keeping the lids for your racks if you have homemade rack systems or whatever like mine uh, this way when you have smaller snakes like this you can just do those tiny homes put a nice lid on it and they're not going to go anywhere and my wife can sleep at night not worrying about little noodles going into her ear or anything. That's, that's a nice thought. To uh, learn how to sex these snakes, check out the video in the first window. Otherwise, if you just want to learn more about snakes, watch the second playlist. Don't forget to forget the, the like button. Okay, that, that was not very good, Avery. You have to be clear. Don't forget to smash that like button. Good girl.